spicy toast gaming here i hope you're having a great day and i hope this video can make it a little bit better today we're going to be once again testing nora versus lissandra nora is a champion that i have a lot of fun playing and i've been wanting to go back to do nora versus lissandra ever since maxing her out but i had to get through every other champion first but now that i'm finished with that i want to once again try nora versus lissandra now first let's take a look at her star powers when you summon a created ally grant it 3-1 so all of our created units gonna have that very aggressive stat line we also have found friends plus one starting mana game start and when you play a card with a base cost of four or more plant a mysterious portal in the top four cards of your deck so some great portal generation right there now for the build we're going with it's a bit different than what we used last time last time it was a build that didn't focus so much on nora and was given a lot of buffs to our board which was still a pretty solid build but this is actually my favorite nora build so we have transmogulator transform my supported ally to a random follower that costs three more so we're essentially recycling our unit into one that's a bit better and since that unit is now going to count as a created card it's going to trigger our star powers giving them an even more aggressive stat line then we go for the spectral scissors so we support that unit and create an ephemeral copy of them also attacking so now not only do we have a stronger unit because it costs more, so it should have a better stat line already, but then it's triggering our star power, so it's even more powerful, and we're summoning another copy of it as well. And then we're using Corrupted Star Fragment to get a lot of those stats onto Nora. This can be a really devastating combo, especially if we can get a couple Noras on the board. I find it to be a very fun playstyle, but also has that element of randomness because you don't know what you're necessarily going to get with the random followers. So it really keeps things interesting and I find it very fun to play. Now, if you enjoy all the daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. All right, support champion. Let's see what we can get. Azir, that would be pretty good because he's going to summon a lot of created units. Yeah, I think Azir will be best because those sand soldiers will be very aggressive. All right, powers. Very similar to Teemo, we would love to get Stabilize. Uh, these are okay, not great. Beebling Strike, Welcome Gifts. Okay, let's try one more reroll. I think we'll go for the Haunted Halls. Allies have Hallowed. Not really the best for us, but I don't necessarily want to use all of our rerolls right here. But we didn't get too lucky with getting anything too powerful, which is a little bit sad because we have so few powers we're getting throughout the run. All right, manifest a mecha yordle that would be a created card so that's not too bad golden sister the silver sister would have those extra stats oh deny is very good to get we might grab that yeah let's grab this deny first really good to have up against the sandra also the created card that it's summoning gonna get those stat buffs which is really good Shadow Totem is strong, but we were hoping to get something for our Nora. Uh, we'll grab the doubling dice. This would trigger our second star power. So every time we play it, it would plant more portals in our deck. All right, we'll go ahead and grab the deny. Sadly, we're really not getting too many good upgrades. So that's a little disappointing. All right, let's take a look. So Lissandra has secrets hidden by Frost. Uh, the top route has generally the easiest the inquisitor yeah i think let's go up top so up first we have starlit seer all right let's get rid of some of these we want to be able to get our nora on the board well i do think this is a really good nora build we really have not gotten good upgrades yet so that's a bit disappointing and we did not draw our nora either that is a bit of another problem since Nora is our main win condition. Alright, let's go ahead, kill this, stun that. See if we get lucky with getting another copy. We did not. All right, bit sad. All 
All right, I think let's go ahead and drop our Zier. Drop our Dune Keeper. Yeah, our Sand Soldiers are pretty solid. So Sandcrafter does have a decent amount of stats. We need something strong enough to block this one here, but it's going to die, so might as well go for a little something a little bit cheaper. All right, the good thing is they're almost out of cards. Distance. All right, so taking a bit of damage, but not that bad. We're really getting that hallowed buff up there. And we do have a decent amount of portals. All right, so... <laughs> wouldn't mind playing the portal palooza, but then we wouldn't have enough for any of our other units. Uh, I think let's drop this here. Empires are built on ambition and servitude. Oh, that will be deadly, especially considering it has overwhelm. So not the best right there, but this will be a pretty solid attack. Your Emperor commands. Tell the people what you have seen today. Side by side. The order is given. A fight. Oh, an auspicious season. Yeah, definitely an issue with this build is just the fact that it does rely a lot more on our Nora. So if we don't draw our Nora, we have a bit of a tough time. Yeah, that Overwhelm unit is going to be pretty bad for us. And this is Focus Speed, so we can't play that there. And this now has Overwhelm, so we have pretty much nothing we can do. Unfortunate, but such is life. All right, that was pretty terrible. Let's go ahead and try that again. Since we have a Zier, we should have a pretty good shot of drawing our champion. I seem to have misplaced my <laughs> And we can't quite attack, because if we do, we will just die. Oh, uh, I guess it's just going to be one of those days, eh? A chill in the air. All right, let's go ahead and kill this, stun that. Maybe we'll get lucky this time. Yes, we did. Wonderful. All right, we can kill that and stun that one right there. Then every time we're playing this... We're dropping more portals and chimes into our deck. Beautiful. All right, let's do something a little interesting. Blessed by snow and stars. An auspicious season. All right, so we are going to attack like this. 
All right, we don't necessarily want to attack with everyone because we're going to be summoning some other units. But we'll attack like this. We'll be able to rally and then attack again. It is time. All right, so nice solid amount of damage right there. And sure, let's drop this right here. By hook or by crook, I'll find you, dear cat. So this is a little bit more how things are supposed to go. Alright, GG. So this is interesting. It is very expensive, but deal 8 to a unit and summon 2 sand soldiers. Pretty good. On the other side, though, we have a unit we could essentially play for free. We don't really have landmarks, but a free unit would really help us, especially if we had this in our opening hand, so we could actually always have someone for Nora to support. So I think we will actually go here. Hey, look, there's the thing again. Uh, so we could have done it with Grifter's deck. Still really expensive. I do like the monkey business because the monkey is going to be way more powerful than normal. Because of our star powers. All right, Omen Hawk and Secrets Hidden by Frost. All right, let's reroll all of these. We just want to have our Nora. Alright, once again, did not draw our Nora. Alright, we're now going to drop our monkey business. That way we'll get a monkey next round. All right, so not quite enough to stop their Reaver. Let's go ahead and drop this here. Nice. Another zero cost unit with a very aggressive stat line. I do love the emphasis on created cards. Don't really want this unit to die because it actually is very good for us. Don't really want to give them extra draw though either. All right, let's get our Azir on the board. Uh, we'll just attack here. He's strong enough to kill anything. And then we'll get a Sand Soldier. We want to keep the others for blockers. Granted, they'll probably just block with their sentries. We always have to make sure we have enough blockers for their giant units, especially because they want to try to drag our units aside. Alright, so we could play this and kill one of their units that has that massive attack. Light the signal fires. We see through all. Alright, Yordle Captain. I think let's actually drop a monkey business. Alright, so this one's sadly gonna die. Faithless creature. Hello, anyone wanna join my party? Alright, Yorla Captain, Dune Keeper. 
You are children of Shurima. We could use an Arise, but I feel like we're probably going to need this when we block. Always forward. All right, let's attack with these right here. The only ones strong enough to kill these two units are their two with massive attack pools. Arise. Just be your best. I have risen and with me, Shurima. All right, so we're killing most of their units, not having any of ours die, which is very nice. So we might be able to surprise them with the Arise. Man, look who finally decided to show up. What will you have? All right, we could play Nora. We'll actually wait for them to attack, though. There it is. Uh, we could deny it. Not really gonna make a to big deal, though. So not too bad. Uh, we'll have Z Azir die, which isn't great. I guess we could just go right there and take that damage. Uh, that's probably better. So not great, but we finally have our Nora, so we should be fine. By hook or by crook, I'll find you, dear cat. All right, we could play the caretaker, which when we upgrade could be a pretty massive unit. Uh, but we want to get a couple different attacks in, so we're gonna attack like this first, because we get a rally going, have our absolutely massive Nora. GG. All right, give allies 2-2 two, two this round. If you've played cards from four of the regions, give them 3-3 three, three instead. Summoning stone, yeah, a bit too expensive for us. I think let's just go for the zero cost predict. All right, blighted ravine and all things grow cold. All right, wonderful, we have Nora and Clockwork. Uh, let's get rid of both of these then. Round and deal two to all units. That'll be a little tough. We definitely need to scale up our Nora. I learned my scar. All right. Hopefully they don't have something to kill all of our units right away. All right. So this one's a three cost. So it'll be better to upgrade. Uh, we'll leave this one here. Potentially just use it as a blocker later. That's not too bad. Well, Nora now has Scout, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we could have this block, or we could just kill it. They potentially will be able to buff it up. Which isn't wonderful. But let's try. Okay, wonderful. Wouldn't have been surprised if they had like an elixir of iron or something like that. Alright, we'll just save this and use another round.
All right, let's attack like this. Actually, well, first let's just attack with Nora since we have our scout. All right, now we're going to attack uh, like this. Probably be able to end the game, but if not, we're going to do a rally. And that is game. GG. All right, Reckoner's Mark on the Dune Keeper. It's not bad. Cursed Enemy with Terror. So this could summon two units, but I think I'd actually prefer the Dune Keeper. Granted, Reckoner's Mark will be bad if they have I Am Inevitable. Eh, I think it's still worth it. All right, Champion Item Chest. Wonderful. Power Rift, some cost reduction. Nice. Remitter. Spells cost two less, units cost one more. All players summon two Coastal Defenders. I think this would be better for us than it would the enemy. So I'm actually going to grab that. Undying Legion. All right, not bad. Seed of Power would actually be solid for us, but this should be fun. All right, Inquisitor, and I am inevitable. All right, let's get rid of most of these. I do like holding on to the Cosmic Binding. All right, so we can play this one first. Like to have them spend their mana if possible. Cup of tea, fine by me. And sure, let's also drop this. I like how much we're buffing up our coastal defenders. All right, so these are four costs, but when we uh, switch them over, they're gonna lose out on some of their stats. So let's actually change this one. All right, this is going to be a lot of damage. Interesting. Portals, portals, up and down and all around. Cut the chat. Well, there goes all their units. That Undying Legion does work out pretty well with our current setup. Alright, three damage to all units. Sure, let's go ahead and deny that. That was also all of their mana. And let's get some more chimes, see what do we want. Ah, you are the captain's fine. All right, let's turn this into a nine cost. For the autumn orchards. And this is probably game, although they might frostbite us, to be honest. Oh, Ledros of the Edros. Yep, there's the frostbite. So we have not quite enough damage. But looking pretty good so far. Uh, I think we'll just pass. That's fine. All will fear and love our dark lady. All right, so he is going to count down most of these. So they're going to have a small army next turn. Not overly worried, though. Sure, let's drop this here. Oh, 
Yeah, we're pretty beefy Nora, so we don't have to worry, really worry. All right, we'll attack with Nora, but we won't try to put all the stats on her. Yep, another frostbite. Not too surprised. Alright, they were able to block everyone. Sadly, we don't have any stuns. So that wouldn't even be able to kill them, because when we hit them, they're going to get tough. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and use this here. Try to get rid of that spell shield. And we won't keep playing this because we're just going to keep helping them. Although we could drop our Dune Keeper and kill one of their Frost Guards. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. And sure, we can drop this right here. Alright, three damage to all units. Which will actually help them with their I'm Inevitable. So not wonderful. Ah, oh, well. Let's go ahead, drop this here, kill one of their units. And stun another one, see if we can get this to go off again. Alright, perfect. Alright, we'll actually put Nora last. We just want to have an entire full board because we just need one person to hit the Nexus. Alright, GG. Uh, invoke, that's not too bad because that would potentially give us some more creative cards. These both are fine, but I think we'll stick with this. Uh, let's go for the item chest. Don't want to lose health over on the mind meld. Summoning Might Poro is pretty good because, again, created card. Going to trigger our star powers. Uh, we could go up. Probably would get destroyed. At least that's what... <laughs> what went and happened last time, but let's see. Secrets hidden by Frost. Frost gathers. Let's go ahead and try. So Wooly Snail Moth. Uh, this is okay, actually. We'll get rid of the Portal Palooza. Well, do they have a lot of spells? Not necessarily, I don't think. Let's actually try to get rid of the Deny... Alright, let's drop this first. And let's even play this. Uh, Crescent Strike, not too bad. Another Azir, T-Maker. Uh, let's actually get another Azir. The rally we could get from him could be pretty strong. So this will die, but will give us another creative card. We're really just trying to be as aggressive as possible. All right, wonderful. These units are absolutely massive. All right, let's 
change one of those. This will be a lot of damage. I think I'm quite ready for a new adventure. All right, leveled round one. Could drop our Zir. I think let's just stun them though. Alright, so they might have a frostbite. We'll still try though. Uh, let's recycle this unit. We could try to stun them. Don't really want to let them build out their board, though. Alright, GG. Alright, so this one does have a pretty big attack pool. I think let's just go for the Rock Hopper. Not really thrilled with any of these though, to be honest. But this quick attack, it would trigger our Hallowed, so could be pretty aggressive actually. Alright, the Howling Abyss. Uh, Yordle Captain. Let's actually get rid of both of these. Don't necessarily want them on an opening hand. We again start with the attack token. That is solid. The crowd writes the song. I just sing them. Home is just around the portal. Well, that's going to be a very big Seraphine. Off we go. All right, let's tack like this. Of the summer fields. Hopefully, well. Uh, Seraphine can actually block either of these, which isn't wonderful. I feel like we still need to attack and try to do as much damage as we can. Because at least we're getting rid of their coastal defenders. And they're giving it overwhelm. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, we could deny that. Or we could try to stun her. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep her from getting that overwhelm. That way we can potentially just block her later. Although that stance swap next turn probably is going to be the same thing. I think I'm quite ready for a new adventure. Uh, obliterate, that's nine costs. Let's go for Written in the Stars. And some more CC, sounds good. Get your Let's go. All right, not too bad. All right, we'll play our Azir. This will give them the chance to play something, though. Well, kind of wish I had my deny for that one. Did not know they had Stormbringer. All right, let's try to spread out the damage. Just got to do as much as we can. Sharima is sand and sky. Past and 
So we're doing decent damage. The order is given. Technique is for lightweights. All right, let's go ahead, stun that, hopefully be able to cast this again for free. We don't want them to be able to attack. We shall weave our own destiny. All right, stun that as well. We are having pretty good luck. And yeah, they're trying to give it overwhelm. We'll go ahead, stun her so she can't attack. We're getting so lucky with these, actually. All right, let's drop our Nora. We can get rid of this one here. So we'll let one of these get the hallowed buff. We'll go ahead and kill our Azir so we can attack again. Uh, he's actually going to summon someone, so we'll just attack like this for now. Granted, they are going to be able to block us. We're going to get a rally, though, so let's just attack like this first. You are better than this. All right, let's go ahead and play this then. Uh, let's deal two to that and stun that unit right there. They are out of mana. Alright, so let's attack right here. I guess since they are out of mana, we can kill this one, stun that so they have no blockers. Alright, GG. Uh, we can get this here. Man, they really wanted us to get Shifting Sands. Uh, I guess we'll get this here. We honestly might cut it because we pretty much never play it. But that would be a ton of stats, so we'll see. Uh, game start. I think both of these units trigger our star power, so they both would be pretty strong. And so we could play our Nora and get all those buffs on her. So, sure, that sounds pretty good. Point of summon trap. That's fun, but I don't think we'll go for that. Probably gonna grab that Mr. Thrift. Play, start a free attack. This unit's probably gonna be dead, but let's get this here. Because it could be another unit for us to kill. Most likely this unit will just be dead, but just an off chance it's not. Uh, we could get some more stats, but let's try to see if we can get something for our Nora. We cannot. Uh, let's actually... More Last Breaths Rally. That's pretty good. And getting one at the start of the game. All right, sounds good. So we have Trundle with Secrets Hidden by Frost. All right, let's... Actually get rid of everything. We just want to increase our odds of drawing our Nora as much as possible, because she is... The most important part of our game plan. Alright, looks like we did not draw her. At least not yet. Maybe we'll get lucky. We did not. Alright. 
All right, no Nora. Not great. Let's try again. All right, written in the stars. He'll give us some champion draw. I guess we can drop this here to get these stats. And it would buff up our other units a little bit more. Let's go ahead and attack like this. Very nice being able to kill their entire board. Yeah, these coastal defenders have been pretty good for us. Alright, so we could try to get our Nora... I think let's go ahead and try to just keep them from attacking, though. Although, if we drop a Curator, that would buff up these two so they'd be strong enough to kill their Trundle. So we'll actually do that here. Perfect, they don't even want to attack. All right, let's hope we get lucky. Perfect. I think I'm quite ready for a new adventure. Cup of tea, fine by me. All right, so let's first attack like this. For the summer fields. So, doing some solid damage, and we're going to get a rally so we can attack again. They might be able to frostbite us. They have a frostbite that costs four. At least most of the decks do. But at least these two will kill anything that blocks them. Alright, we really need to win this round, otherwise they are going to cause problems. But I think we're going to be fine. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Shurima is sand in sky, past and present. Alright, so we'll attack like this. Another unit that will rally, or give us a rally, and we're going to get a Sand Soldier, and then another copy of whatever this turns into. And we could attack again and get another rally, but yeah, I think we're good. GG. Another doubling dice. Alright, I'm fine with that. Is there something we really want to get rid of? So we have four copies of the Caretaker. Would be a massive unit, but it is a six cost, which is pretty rough. We're normally going to want to be ending before then, if at all possible. Could go for a spell, but 48 cards, and we only have three copies of Nora. Uh, Yordle Captain, again, not one really going to play much. I think we will actually get rid of the Realm's Caretaker. If we're getting to the point that we have to play this, we're probably lost the game already. All right, Lissandra and Secrets Hidden by Frost. All right, let's get rid of this and both of these. Nice, we have one of our rally cards and we know we're gonna get another one. If we can get our Nora, we might have a really good time. All right, we have Nora. It's really gonna come down to what they have. Oh, this is... A little tough. It would be nice to play our Nora and get these buffs already on her, but definitely a little worried about what they're going to play. So let's play this first just to be safe. 
we want them to burn some of their mana so they can't immediately like obliterate us. Alright, so there's an immediate obliterate. Glad we didn't play Nora first. That is all of their mana though. So we can drop this here. By hook or by crook, I'll find you, dear cat. I seem to have misplaced my earth. <laughs> so we'll only get one rally, unfortunately. For the summer field. Still, though, this should be. Pretty good. Interesting, they didn't block anyone. Alright, let's go ahead and go again. Well, GG. Well, I'm not sure, but that might have actually been my first Lissandra OTK, which is pretty crazy, to be honest, but really fun build. As you saw at the beginning, at the very start of the run, uh, can be a little bit rough. You are very reliant on your Nora, as she is your main win condition. You can do other builds where you're not as reliant on playing her yourself and give her some more passive relics. So even if she's not on the board, she's still helping out. But really fun build definitely try it out if you are able to nor is actually one of my favorite champions now there's so much randomness whenever you're playing her but you still feel very powerful and have a fun time really a great champion and i love that this build even though it does use a epic relic it's not actually using nor's epic relic you have to spend money on which is another big bonus in my book all right i hope you guys enjoyed that if you did definitely like and subscribe and i hope you all have a great day